good afternoon ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for the opportunity to talk to you on automation in agro based industry see we have large scale industries in agro textile dairy confectionery and all they have fully automated uh, to reduce the cost uh, of the production as well as to reduce the wastages but there are many small industries small scale industries agro based uh, which need attention i would like to emphasize few points on that here the importance for this is 50% of the population Uh, depending on the agrarian income and uh, these agro industries can add value to the produce and increase the farmer's uh, income reduce the post harvest transport and storage losses it also gives local employment opportunity local skill development important pre harvest automation needs or seeds of the problem germination if you have find out a method of automatically finding the helpful second is the affordable and sustainable automated fertigation system uh, for uh, uh, small and marginal farmers uh, is a must then we have the harvesting tools and equipment is another issue we, we don't have harvesters for certain crop like cotton soybeans we have only cutters harvesting tools and vegetables and fruit farmers they don't have proper handling tools like plastic trays after harvest to 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 carry it to out of the field and uh, they are in a hurry to sell the product uh, because they don't have any market for the low quality produce uh, as well as they are worried about because they don't have any sorting uh, or storing local facilities so actually we have to uh, find a solution for all these things logistics uh, and material handling is another uh, area uh, for example you don't have loading and unloading equipment hoppers conveyor belts uh, even for msp crop procurement they don't have it only uh, human labor is used and a uh, lot of wastages happen so i think this has to be taken care of it and logistics required for storage of fruits and vegetables for a few weeks will help and uh, availability of uh, transport containers you know, for example tomato pulp Uh, to take from far away places they use that balloon containers they are not available uh, and even for storage of uh, metal handling of paddy is not available i like to come for the warehousing and storage is another problem uh, most of the warehouses are four walls with no facilities no racks or no pallet storage system there are design flaws like dehydration unit without moisture analyzer vegetable fruit pulling without power backup the fpos and ngos lack the uh, industry of and technical skills and that has to be uh, supplemented uh, we don't have four plates or other material handling stuff inside and uh, there is no automatic climate temperature humidity logging system warning system in the warehousing processing and packaging is another big problem for the uh, small agro industries uh, there are uh, extractors and uh, pre processor required like for example coconut water automation in pulp paste making equipment required crushing juice making they must be automated dryers are not there for example turmeric and paddy paddy you have up to 20% damages because of that in south sustainable automatic packaging machines required labeling masking machine affordable cost is required there are no palletization machines used in agriculture that is i think we have to promote it the other how people so so 1 million mango pulp cans uh, just by human labor going and stacking them up Uh, food quality is another issue we have the standard uh, for uh, uh, good manufacturing practices uh, crop forecast export statistics uh, they are not in public domain very much available monitor the industry promotion council's activities so they adhere to the mandate monitor them uh, recent market data and volume price trends are required waste processing is another area no value added for the waste processing solid and liquid waste Uh, even for biogas plants they are not successful cost cost benefit ratio current initiatives uh, done by the government on agriculture infrastructure fund is excellent uh, uh, from 2019 and uh, but only question is here again comes uh, we have to monitor them properly 
tax has uh, started a good move of uh, monitoring the reimbursals. Uh, we, we need uh, we need to find out the FPOs failures and real practical issues and put technical help to solve them. Uh, periodic M and E monitoring and evaluation and uh, data available to all is the only possibility for us to succeed. Way forward, I will say, dedicated expert team for each crop and location has to be made, involve technical expertise from research and academic institutions we have to give them, award the performers to AAA. This will give us accountability. Monitor and uh, take the corrective actions more frequently. Uh, I would like to thank here uh, the other one of my friends, colleagues of Nader Shah Vishwanathan, Ganpati Inkasal Satyamurti, uh, he is doing for 20 years uh, in our agro-industry, Vijay Patil Farmer and Yipiram, uh, for their contribution uh, to me to prepare this report. Thank you very much. And I'd like to thank you very much, all of you, for giving me this uh, opportunity.